Hey guys! Yeah, we need to capitalize on this new hardware event. Deadline coming up? Yeah! We need to make this new Sonic game and we need it fast, regardless of any broken gameplay ideas, glitches, terribleness that might be in the game. Give this man a raise! Hey people, Super Skyban here. In the last episode, I tease this episode. Thanks for dealing with the short video, and I'll see you in September for one of my favorite games of all time. I'll give you a little hint. It was released in 2017. And today's episode was going to be a double review. But with school being so hard, I decided to do a more detailed review of the first game in that lost episode. Sonic CD. Just so you know, the other game would have been Sonic Mania. But for now, we look at the first bump in the track of Sonic's roller coaster of love, hate, and emotional destruction of the fan base. Trademarked. Sonic CD released on September 23rd, 1993 by Sega, making it the third Sonic game, releasing six months before the actual third Sonic game. It was released for the ever so popular Sega Genesis CD add-on. It sold 1.5 million copies according to VG charts and reviewed fairly well, with some people criticizing the game for having quirks that ruined the experience. But enough history. Let's play the game. Title screen. And wait, that's an animation. This is cool, and it tells you right off the bat that Sonic is fast, as well as, HEY LOOK NEW HARDWARE SHINY! This is a kind of problem with the game. Rather than making the best game they could, they made the best tech showcase they could. Regardless, it looks cool and it gave Dan Rude a job, so I'm happy. Anyway, we start this game off with your usual green hilly zone, this time named Palm Tree Panic. And it feels just like the two Sonics that predated it, until... Whoa, that's so cool! Anyway, back on track. Other than that feat of showing off the new tech, we... Where am I? I just time traveled. This mechanic is really what sets this game apart from the rest of the 2D Sonics by now adding heavy exploration to your go-fast, zoom-zoom, fun-loving platformer. Now, whoa! You can't just go fast. What do you think this is, Sonic 2? Now, you have to go out of your way to kill everything you see in a massive robo-genocide in order to get a good future. But it really doesn't matter because this game is easy and short. The majority of the levels are two minutes long and they don't really provide too much of a challenge. This is another example of the whole tech demo thing. After the first two acts, we go to a third act set in the future and... This song is also an example of the game being a tech demo. The Genesis doesn't really do voices that well, but now with the CD add-on, we have people just talking in the background of songs. Besides that, the soundtrack is really cool. The next level is named Collision Chaos. Now, we've already seen Amy Rose in the previous level, right? Well, instead of introducing just one new character like in Sonic 2, this game has Metal Sonic who kidnaps Amy, thus accelerating the trend of every new Sonic game needing new characters. Other than that, this level has pinball flippers, which infuriate me whenever they're required. But it's fine, because that's the only time you see them, except for this boss fight. I swear, these things are inconsistent, inaccurate, and just unfun. But the bosses in this game are usually pretty cool and unique. The third level in this game is a water level called Tidal Tempest, and believe it or not, I never drowned once. This game just keeps being a breeze. Nice, easy, yet swift. Dude, nice metaphor! Level 4 is called Quartz Quadrant, and there's literally nothing all too special here. Level 5 is called Wacky Workbench, which wins the award for my first game over. This level's boss is pretty cool and unique, but hard to get your head around. But when you do get in the hang of things, they hit to kill you, which is both bogus and sad. Level 6 is Stardust Speedway. Yes, that Stardust Speedway that was featured in Sonic Mania. I gotta admit, a lot of these levels are super creative. This level can get confusing at times because it loops in on itself, but overall it's still pretty fun. This also means that there's finally the fight with Metal Sonic, who, if you can remember, stole Amy. Oh no, not Amy, whatever will we do? I'll tell you what we do. We race Metal Sonic for safety from him and Robotnik. Yes, I said Robotnik, that was his name in 1993. This race is a true Sonic boss fight because it's speed and reaction base, instead of literally every boss fight in the franchise before. Once we kill Metal Sonic and make Robotnik really sad, we save Amy Rose and oh, oh, oh. She's like, 
like 13! But if you thought I was singing this game's praise a little too much, don't worry, because the next level is Metal Madness. But Super Skybound Metal Madness can't be bad because it was in Sonic Mania! Yeah, that's what I thought too, but apparently they put it in for redemption because this level sucks! But this level might not suck for you if you like insta-kill crushing, insta-kill pits, massive difficulty spikes, these stupid poles, confusing level designs, and an emphasis on not speed. But chances are you don't like those things, and neither do I. When I finally got the boss, whoa, you can't just go to the boss. Before you go to the boss, you must have a pre-boss boss, duh. This guy is also a mania, but his timing's a lot more strict, and he's not that cool. Now we can, whoa. You can't just move on from the pre-boss boss to the boss boss. Now you must fight the double pre-boss boss. Duh. After killing everything, we can finally move on to the final boss of the game, which really isn't special besides the change in music. After we straight up murder Robotnik, you watch another cutscene in which the death egg explodes and we get away with Amy in our hands, and then straight up murder Robotnik again for funsies. And I'm glad that it's done. Wait, try again? RATS! That's right, there's multiple endings. What is this, Chrono Trigger? <laughs> if you go through the game like a normal person, like I did, you get the meh ending. Want to know the requirements for the good ending? You could either get a good future in every level and defeat all the robots in the special worlds, or you could destroy every Metal Sonic projection and robot generator in the game. Now, after my traumatic experiences with Metal Madness, my lack of effort and lack of time, I'm gonna get the real ending. Look guys, I really did it. It took me a really long- oh crap. Overall, the game looks pretty weird graphically. It's just that some things don't have enough colored or are discolored. Its controls require getting used to, but still they are dated and kind of off. The levels are really creative, but short, easy, looping, and metallic madness. The soundtrack is really cool, but I was listening to the Japanese version, which is probably better because it was in Mania. The voices in some songs are kind of useless though. The new characters are actually pretty cool and the bosses can get pretty sick. So, out of today's scale of 28, I give Sonic CD a 22 or a 79%. Thanks for watching. Hey there, future me. You know, of all these questions I've been asking you, I've never asked you if you're just like a weird person. I hope you're not that weird. And if you're not me from the future, subscribe and like and comment nice things. Special thanks to my dad for being able to take the game out of full screen mode. Without you, this episode wouldn't be possible. And I've actually failed to mention that there's this move where you can press up and any button and you could do a super peel out. Honestly, this game was a lot better than I expected. I've heard a couple of bad things about it, but it was still pretty cool. Anyway, that was all I had to say, and on with the outtakes. See you guys next time. Hey, look! Ah, who kidnaps aiding? Aiding. Aiding Rose. I wonder if that's a thing. I'll Google it. Um, nothing interesting. Just a, a, a trial. The JFK assassination? What? Uh, so much words on a paper. I texted my friends. Not Those jerks. Those jerks. BJ Master Tato, if you're watching this video, you're not one of those friends. You're okay. <laughs> we raced Metal Sonic. But, uh, God. Well, I was going off, like, on a tangent off the script, and I went on the script. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> me and past me are so in sync. You know, a lot of my friends tell me, Oh, Super Skybound, you're so cool! But they don't even know that I'm a part-time rap god. Hit it! Double Jet, it's Miss Gen. We catch you, man. It's going to be. You got a good, you know the deal. You know what we're gonna do? We storm the deal. Treat yourself. Get ready for a fight. Get your own soup. On the yo, we're out of here.